sorry, we have time for a couple of questions. I want to note that we'd like to leave a little time free right before 12 for web-based questions, because this is being webcast. So there won't be webcast <coughs> questions during, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, respect the time and, and be able to get some time for people who are outside of the room to ask questions later. So questions uh, for Buck? I think you need to speak into a microphone. Is there a mobile microphone by any chance that we could hand out to people? Because I think that might be best. <laughs> uh, in mice, um, there is a paradigm that uh, they, germ-free animals have deficiencies in the immune system. However, if you reconstitute the mice with, with bacteria or microbiome, uh, you have restoration of the immune function. So everything seems to be uh, on demand. So you turn it on it's, and it works. Um, in Drosophila and Hydra, there were reports that uh, their development is defici deficient uh, in the absence of microbes. And that's the effects stay even if they are colonized. So what about the worm? Well, I think the, the short answer to your question is we uh, don't fully know yet. Um, I think that even in mice, there are critical periods uh, or critical windows which you need exposure to, uh, to microbes uh, during those windows in order to get proper development of the immune system. What is defining those, uh, those critical periods in C. elegans um, is really not known, but I think we have the opportunity to, to understand that from a genetic uh, perspective. Um, but their immunity is, 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 very, is very much an innate epithelial immunity um, itself as well. So, uh, and that's where it would best translate uh, to, to, to other systems uh, as well. But you can imagine um, doing some of the things. They also have natural viruses and natural um, that infect them. So you can imagine looking at sort of antiviral responses um, in, to basically changing the pathogen that you're, um, that you're looking at um, to see whether or not there's proper development of the uh, immune system. And these are things that, um, that, we're, that we're looking into. But uh, I didn't quite mean immune system. I mean uh, the overall fitness of, of, the, of, of the animal. Yeah, no, I mean, from the, certainly, I mean, there are many, uh, as in other systems, uh, there, are, um, there are periods for uh, C. elegans uh, where you need to uh, see microbes um, or some influence from microbes in order to get proper, um, proper development of the intestine. The exenic condition seems to uh, um, satisfy the animals uh, enough that they don't enter dour. So you don't see, so this is their extreme, conditions are bad, um, you know, abort. Um, this is their... Uh, developmental abort uh, sequence, and they don't do that in exenic conditions. So they're at least getting enough um, signals that the environment is is good enough uh, in that perspective to proceed through development, albeit a, um, a third of the pace. But a, f a thorough and molecular characterization of what deficiencies or um, differences in the uh, say, uptake of nutrients or ability to regulate um, energy metabolism or immunities, which I um, briefly touched upon, uh, that happen in the absence of some sort of microbial input has not been, has really not been characterized in Cialians yet. Okay, great. Let's uh, thank Buck for his talk.